This week on Resto Talk, we are going to talk about air conditioning and things to look for on older systems. When taking a car out of storage, or if you're thinking about purchasing a car and it has AC, here are some of the things that you could look for to see if the system is in working order. And one of the first things you could look at under the hood is the compressor. Things you might want to look for are, does the compressor have dirt and oil on the front of it? If it does, it's a good chance that the seal is leaking on the compressor. If that's the case, then it may not hold Freon. The other thing you'll want to do is grab a hold of the clutch and turn it. If you can't turn it easily, then chances are the compressor is locked up. If it's locked up, then you probably have debris in the air, the AC system, and you'll need to replace some components like the expansion valve, receiver dryer, and then flush the evap core and the condenser. Another thing you could look for on a system is if the belt is off of the compressor and there's rust in the groove of the pulley, chances are it hasn't had a belt on there for a long time and it's not gonna work. The next thing to consider in your system is looking at the condenser. The condenser is in front of the radiator. Uh, there's two types, the R12 used a tube type condenser and the R134 uses a high efficiency honeycomb type. If you're staying with the R12, you can just flush your condenser. The only problem is, is now R12 is getting harder and harder to find. It's expensive and eventually will be non-existent. Another thing when looking at your condenser is to look for any dirt spots or oily spots. If there is on the front of it or by the fittings, chances are you have a leak there also. Under the hood, you have the hoses for your high and low side. You'll want to look at them. If they've never been replaced, you'll want to look for cracks in the rubber or again at the O-ring fittings if there's any dirt or any look signs of leakage. The old hoses did not have a plastic barrier in them. The new hoses have a barrier in them. They call it barrier hose. They developed that because of the R134. The 134 has smaller molecules, and if you were to put 134 in the old R12 hoses, uh, eventually the molecules would just bubble through the hose and you would lose your Freon. So in a, either upgrading your system, or even if you leave R12, uh, it's a good idea to replace your hoses because of the age of the vehicle. The last thing you wanna do is to charge your system and have a weak hose and have a break in it and lose all your Freon. The next major part of your system is the EVAP core and the heater core box under your dash. That also is like a small little radiator, could also have leaks in it. So you would want to pressure test that to make sure there's nothing leaking. Another trick to testing the AC system for leaks would be to fill the system up with nitrogen. Nitrogen is less expensive than refrigerant. You can put 200 pounds of pressure in there and if it holds the nitrogen, you're pretty sure that you're not gonna have any leaks. A system we like to use on the old classic cars is made by Classic Auto Air. And that replaces the whole system under the dash, the condenser, the compressor, and all the hoses. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of these videos, subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram.